if you're the kind of official that adopts the mentality, if we let you get away with this too much, then somebody else has the license to say, when I'm going against the Golden State Warriors, I guess I can act like that too, since you're giving Draymond Green this kind of latitude. I just worry that it might cost them. And he, I will say this about Draymond, and I think that both of you would agree with what I'm about to say. Boy, is he lucky that Joey Crawford and Steve Javi are no longer officiating NBA games. I think he's very, very, very lucky in that regard. To that, CJ, you say what? All officials are great, first and foremost. Um, <laughs> they really ever make mistakes. The, the efficiency rating on the calls minus bad calls is probably you know, 98, 99%. They're only wrong probably you know, 0.5 to 1% of the time. But I think you guys are right. He told us the line far too often. It's going to cost him at some point. And all it takes is Smart or Grant Williams to understand that Draymond has one technical. Then you get in his face. Maybe you push him first. Maybe you just you know, throw him a little elbow. Get him to react, and that gets him out of the game. Obviously, we want to see the best players play, and we don't want this to occur. But he has to be very careful because if he doesn't have a veteran referee who's mild-mannered, well-tempered, understands him, they may do a quick technical as opposed to going to the review. They saved him by reviewing that play because in the moment, that could have been an easy technical foul. You've seen the feet on his head. Could have got rid of it early. But they understood that he already had one. They understood the personnel. You know, JJ, we talk about KYP all the time. Know your personnel, not just in sports, but they have to know their players and their players' personalities. And in this case, Draymond's reputation saved him and will continue to save him until it doesn't. See, that's my problem, though. If we're going to give Draymond leeway because it's the second technical and it's the NBA Finals and he's important to the team, why don't we do that for all players? Kyle Anderson got ejected for asking a question in the second round. So because Kyle Anderson normally doesn't yell at the refs, we're going to eject him faster than Draymond because Draymond does it all the time and we're just used to it. That's unfair to everyone else and it only encourages Draymond to do it even more. So here's my solution. Stop giving everybody stupid technical fouls. If there's little scuffles here and there, little arguments, little disagreements, don't give any tech. Why do we give people tech so fast in today's NBA? It's ridiculous. He shouldn't have had one to begin with. But my second solution is Draymond just needs to dial it back a little bit. As long as he's not kicking people in the nuts and as long as he's not poking people's eyes and he doesn't take it too far, then I'm fine with it. But keep it consistent. Don't say, Oh, it's because it was his second one, so we just felt so bad. No, that's stupid. What? Just officiate him fairly, but give him a little more leeway to begin with. Why are you giving him a stupid tech and then just letting him run amok around the court? But let me know in the comments what you guys think. Do you guys think it was fair that they didn't give Draymond the second tech because he already had one? That is all I have for this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more NBA content just like this. And I will see you in the next upload.